Hey, how are we doing boys and girls? Welcome to the video. So today on DMZ, we're going to be covering, I would say, one of the most important things you should know as a DMZ player. PvP and PvE, doesn't matter. This is going to help you greatly at the start of your games, okay? And that is knowing exactly where other players are spawning every single time because the spawns are not random. They are always set in a specific place. And there's a big possibility that there's going to be people spawning in certain places near you and knowing exactly where those players are is going to make it so you can survive your raids more meaning you can avoid those players if you're more into just trying to get your missions done and if you're a pvp player obviously it gives you that information to get straight into fights it's a very handy tool to know for both players who are you know you know when you're going into dmz so this has took me like three weeks to do. I've been recording this, these spawns for the last three weeks. I haven't looked at maps on Google and such that because a lot of them are outdated and some of these spawns are no longer actually um, in place because they were a lot. Right at the start of DMZ, there were some really dangerous spawns. There is some still really dangerous spawns. And what I'm going to be doing is showing you a lot of examples of these dangerous spawns and give you that awareness so you can either avoid that kind of stuff, avoid those fights and carry on with your day. OK, so let's get straight into it and let's have a look at the map first. And I'm going to go over um, some of the most important spawns you should take note. And then what we're going to be doing is then showing you some live examples um, of those spawns so you can kind of just get an idea visually. OK, so let's get straight into it. Now, here is the map with all the spawns I have managed to record while playing in the last three weeks. Some of them are extremely rare, as in like this one here, um, the El Marzo City one, I noticed, and this one, like these three here. And sometimes this one, these ones seem to be like extremely rare if you spawn there. Like I have only spawned here in the last maybe once, two, two times tops in the recordings of three weeks. But they are spawns. So they are like something to be aware of, but they're not um, super dangerous ones. And what I've done is I color coded what I think are safe spawns where you don't have to immediately worry about players straight away. And you can just kind of go about your day doing your missions. If you spawn at one of these kind of green ones, just just be aware that there are spawns about but you're going to be fine to be honest most of the time i find when i spawn at any of these green ones i don't come across anything pvp related straight away or you know within the first two or three minutes five minutes i don't really encounter anyone and it's pretty safe okay so that's why i've marked these as green they're kind of more like your good ones i suppose if you want to do your missions okay so the yellow ones are, you need to take note of the other spawns. Just, you know, just casually take note and you can kind of choose just to go away from any of the player spawns and you should be safe, okay? Um, this one here at the top between Rohan Oil and Quawi is one where you just need to take note of the spawns because there's a lot of player spawns around you. But... The chances of you running into PvE straight away are pretty slim. You'll notice in one of the clips I do look towards this spawn and I see the spawn from here running into Raha Oil, but I don't have to have to get into any PvP. So this one's okay. And also if you get a car and you kind of drive more inwards or do it go about your day, but just be aware of the spawns if you spawn here. Um, and uh, this one here is a really rare one. I didn't really get spawn here too much but it's just i marked it yellow because you've got to be aware of the police station and the person who may spawn near the bridge near up towards the airport but apart from that it's pretty safe spawn you shouldn't really run into too many people especially if you kind of head inwards or if you're heading towards the um Akdar village even the city uh i mean if you go towards the city you always need to expect pvp because it's a, a high traffic place with a lot of spawns around it but you know, you shouldn't get into PvP straight away. Now, the the ones which you really need to take note on, these are the ones which will, you know, help you greatly in your survivability if you really take note of these. And that's the red ones. These are the ones where you can pretty much get into PvP straight away by looking in that direction or you, you can try and avoid it, right? So they are ones you really need to take note on. It's like, for example, the port 
if you spawn here you can literally look towards that way with a sniper rifle or your spotter scope and you'll see the players there just running up the hill if there is a spawn there if they spawn there right and there's vice versa if you spawn here normally i advise running up the hill and you can look towards the port and you'll most probably see the players you know running in in direction or getting into a fight this one's quite a rare one now i, I had it a few times before this red spawn but Lately, I haven't been spawning here, so I don't know if it's been taken out in a in a stealth change, but it's one just to take note of just in case, because if you spawn here between um, the village and um, near Side City, these two can see each other, right? You can see each other and get into a snipe war, and so you want to make sure you take cover if you want to not get into PvP and avoid it, right? So if you do spawn here, just take note of the, sp the other spawn, which could be possibly be at the port, and take note of side city side city have marked green because i find like i said this spawn here is very rare i don't really see too many people spawn here anymore and so this sort of spawn is a pretty safe spawn at the start where you can kind of go around looting and go and abate your day um, and you can also go into the mall and get looted up sometimes too if you've got a, if you've got a squad with you now these ones here at the village are another ones to take note of okay so um especially these two here do spawn really close to each other and you don't always see people spawn here directly but it is one to take if you spawn here look towards your right and this is spawn here look towards your left okay another one on marks green is the one just near seraph bay um you don't really get into too much pvp you can kind of loot about here the only time you want to start then looking towards players once you've started the loot around here um is it depending on where you go if you turn left then you want to start looking just in case one of these lot don't go towards the village or cemetery and they head off towards the bay you want to just take note to your left to make sure there's no players around here okay now the airport is a big one uh, these spawns haven't really changed if you spawn here you can look that way and see the players if you spawn here you can look that way and possibly see the players if they come around here to start trying to fight chances are if the people spawn at the airport they normally either run up the runway and you can um either shoot them take them on or you if you spawn here and you don't want to get into pvp you can obviously just head straight directly up in towards um, akdar village or over towards the bay okay um the players here do normally also try and clear out this place here because it's quite a nice place for loot so just be wary if you are at the, the airport spawns you need to be aware of each other here also this spawn needs to be aware of two spawns this red one here needs to be aware of two spawns because you've got to be aware of the guys here to make sure they haven't came into like the bunkers around here and they haven't gone towards the airport but you also need to be aware of the yellow spawn here because these guys can choose to engage in you too you literally just come up the stairs and you can see the players here and i'll show you the examples in the live of that um so it's it's you kind of what i normally do if i spawn here is look towards this direction first to see where these guys are going are they going to go in towards the village or are they coming towards you and i normally then kind of go on top of the building here and then look towards this direction to see if i see the players from this spawn all right um another one to take note this place up here right at the top the village this place can turn out really action-packed right at the start depending on the players who spawn there and if they know about the spawns right what i do normally find is in fact actually in one of my videos um the rewarding one where i, I say about how you know how you know dmz feels really rewarding and at the end i get into a really big fight um with a, about two or three teams here this place is nuts it kicks really action especially at the, the petal station there's a lot of fighting sometimes happens at this area here because what you'll find is if people know about these spawns this person will run towards here and they they can get the fight this person if they're not going towards the village can just swim across the water and get into a fight if you're in the middle here you can literally spawn here and look towards this direction and see these guys we actually died from someone who knew this spawn they spawned here knew about this spawn and we died within 30 to 40 seconds because i didn't realize people would know about this spawn you know i kind of took it to granted and we got sniped and downed um so it, it, you need to know about these spawns because if you do come across someone 
who does know about them you know you're gonna you're gonna run into troubles okay so just take note of these red spawns this one's another one the police station the two police spawns you can see each other straight away and i would say the spawn here has the most advantage because you can run towards the first building here get high ground and start sniping if these guys don't know anything about it and they're trying to take on people in the police station so just please be net but i kind of take note of that one um so yeah, these are the spawns I know about so far. I hope this kind of helps. And what we're going to do now is go through some live examples. So you can kind of get an idea of these red spawns. I'm just going to go for each one and show you. Um, and you can kind of get an idea of why they're quite strong. Okay, so, so now have a look at that. So this is one of the airport spawns. I don't want to do both spawns. I want to cover both. I'll just show you the example of one of them. This is the one where you want to look to your right. If you was on the other one, you would be looking kind of straight ahead of you, just past the um, boxes when you start. But yeah, you can see it. I can see him at the door there. So just ones to take note when you are at the airport. Now, this one is the one where you spawn at the Saw Village, one of the ends of the spawn village, and look towards the port area. I don't get an example of actually seeing someone here because uh, it, the spawn seems to be pretty rare now and I don't seem to see it as much but here it is on the map um, and if you look it's looking towards that direction you can possibly see someone if they do spawn there but um, they didn't this time but this one it, it seems to be a little bit rarer now um, but I always look that way just in case. This is one of the police spawns where you want to just look towards your left and just be aware of the spawn on the opposite side just in case they do come over towards you. See I look here with the spot scope to see if I can spot them. I can't see them but please be aware of that spawn on the other side just in case. This next one's one of the really dangerous ones at the port where you can look across towards the quarry and snipe people at the quarry. Here we get the spot scope I can see a three man team literally at the other side here. Very hard to snipe them but if you're standing still you can obviously get those shots. So be please be aware of that one. This spawn here is the one also near the airport where you can kind of have a decision. I either go towards the airport and take them on and loot the airport, or you can wait at a train track just above to the right here and wait for the train to come along and jump on the train and also get some easy loot and gear up. This is actually quite a nice spawn because it gives you a little option. But there you can see the airport spawn um, too. So the next one is the other police spawn. I thought I'd show you this one too, just so you can get an idea of how the other players may play this. You can see here, you just go down the road, scan, and we can see those other players. That's why I always tell you to look to the left if you was on the other spawn, um, so you can see them. And so there, you can see we're starting to fight them. But yeah, get an idea, these, these ones, they are pretty dangerous ones to get into PvP straight away. Contact. So this is one of the safe spawns, kind of between Rohan Oil and Quarry. Um, I look towards one of the spawns at the top here and I couldn't see anyone up there. I do just double check because I was thinking that, you know, sometimes people can spawn here and come down towards me. So I am just trying to make sure that no one does before I start looting and causing a bit of noise. Then I look towards Hydroelectric and I do spot the dude at Hydroelectric running towards the uh, Rohan Oil. And last but not least, here's the next spawn i wanted to show out of the three top red spawns near tower village oasis miles of city kind of area the three top spawns this is the one in the middle and i'm going to show you the example of where i can see the spawn heading towards the village you can see i can spot them there. there's a pve but you can see a pvp player running in a minute there he is um so yeah you can spot the people there this is where we died we had someone sniping us but very very one to take note of is these three top spawns. This is the uh, one of them for you. So there you have it, boys and girls. I really hope this information helps you. P learning the player spawns is so, so, so important um, in any PvP game, but very important in looter shooters like DMZ because um, your life is on the line, especially if you want to try and do missions and things like that. You don't want to be get set straight back to the freaking menu. And so knowing these player spawns will just help you greatly in your survivability right at the start. And it can kind of just give you an overall image of where players are. So when you're going towards certain locations, you can go, actually, yeah, I remember there's a player spawn around here. Players could still be nearby. It just gives you a heads up when you're approaching certain um, PIs and things like that 
to kind of keep you just knowing and keeping you alert that people could be a bit nearby due to player spawns. But I hope this really helped you out, and I'll see you soon for some more DMZ.